I teach full-time kindergarten, so I teach, I have two kindergarten classes. I teach kindergarten in the morning and then in the afternoon, and I also have Treehouse, which is children that have already graduated from kindergarten. We do ABCs, numbers, a sentence pattern every week. There's a weekly sentence pattern. We do a fun time every week. I think one of the most important concepts for a teacher is to understand that you're not only teaching English. That's a um, minimal part. You're, you're sharing your culture in a way and your ideas. Um, the, the Taiwanese method of teaching and learning is tremendously different than our method of teaching and learning. It's really rewarding once, six months later, you can see they're speaking just all in English. It might be broken English a little bit, but it's all in English, and they love it. And you can see how they start from chair to put your chairs away, take out your green bowl, do this, do that, and they can say everything by themselves, willingly. So it's really nice to see that. The best way to teach a child is you show them everything because they don't understand what you're saying if they're brand new children. They have no idea what's going on. If you want to say, put your chair here, you physically get their chair and you put their chair there. And they're like, oh. When they graduate from kindergarten, they, you'll be um, actually amazed at what these children can say. Okay. I think the best way to have a good day at teaching, to have a good teaching experience, is to have <coughs> Prepare to be prepared. You must be prepared. If you have a good fun time, your whole day will be just perfect. Because if you're prepared and the children know, they can see, they can tell if you have planned your lesson or if you know what you're doing, the children feed off of that. Our hours are set. We get paid by the hours. Schools out there. There's tons of schools out there. English is a huge industry in Taiwan. Um, but I was really impressed by the setup of the HES website honestly, and I felt, you know, if they have enough, enough initiative to put together this website, then maybe they're a credible company, and then I came, and, and I found that they are. It's extremely organized. It's laid out for you. You do not have to create your own materials, and it's very important to understand that with HES, you do not have to write the curriculum. <laughs> oh, hi. I thought I lost you. <laughs> so, welcome to my house. Our house. This is my fiance Wei. Uh, he's the reason I came to Taiwan. Here is our baby kitty Shadow when we brought him over with us when we came. So he's actually from Moscow, Idaho. Yeah, U.S. citizen. <laughs> this is the bedroom. We painted the walls. It was my big project. And here's our kitchen. Hey, honey, what Come is on the, in. Uh, barbecue sauce? It's in the refrigerator on the door. So here's our kitchen, and we have a washroom in the back there, and here's our bathroom. The bathroom is definitely not like a western bathroom. One room, there's no bathtub, there's no shower curtain, it's just a sink and a shower. Oh, yeah. Hi mom. Oh jeez. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's all about baking it, not frying. Caroline to me is a very generous person, a very caring person, and that's what makes her such a good teacher. I think um, Wayne's a perfectionist. He likes everything done to detail. This is the secret. Red Hot. Frank's Red Hot Original Cayenne Pepper Sauce. These wings are sauce. delish. Mm. Nice work, Wayne. Well said. Hey, hey, no, no, wait, you guys, this you guys definitely need wings. to do this more often. Like in the bone, baby, that's good stuff. So this is the local temple in my neighborhood. This is paper money which will burn at the end and the incense that we'll need to give to the gods. And it's always nice to give a donation, so my donation. After you pray to each three gods, then you put uh, one incense stick for each god into the, the ash pit. These lights are the main source of income for the temple. 
There are 40,000 in this temple and you can pay $500 and have one light which represents health and wealth. So if you want health and wealth throughout the year, you need to get a light. Offerings of anything from fruit to any type of food to toys can be given. And as this is a little boy's uh, god, so he has toys. He has marbles and some lollipops. So you can give anything to the god, anything that the god might want. In this part of the temple is the Taoist side of the temple for worship. And I think it's a nice simulation of the two religions. So most people come to both the Taoist portion and the Buddhist part of the temple. It's somewhat of a mer merged religion. So there's many gods here to pray for, from health and safety, good grades, and even when you want to have a baby, there's a goddess of birth. So if you want to have a baby, you can come here and pray for a baby. Please give me a baby. And maybe I'll have a baby. <laughs> Don't put that in there. <laughs> You burn your paper money for your relatives in the afterlife. So any of your ancestors, your grandmothers, your grandfathers, uh, anyone along the line, if you put this money in the fire, it is given to them to the heavens to have money. So this is just one example of the many things there are to see in Taiwan that you wouldn't see back home. There's night markets. There's night market just down the street here. There's places to eat, vendors for food. Nightlife never stops. My initial reaction was that it was really hot because <laughs> in August when you come, it's, it's steaming hot. And so it was, I knew I was in for something that I wasn't prepared for, that I had to get used to. I feel like all of the people that we work with and all of the uh, Chinese staff and just people that we meet, they're always very helpful to foreigners because mm, I guess they want to make us feel more welcome than feel at home because they know that it's really difficult for us, especially if you don't speak Chinese. I, I very recently got a scooter, so now I drive everywhere on my scooter. Uh, to get anywhere is very accessible because there's public transportation. So before I had a scooter, um, I would take the bus, which is directly outside my apartment, actually, and take the bus into Taipei City where I could catch the MRTs, the subway system. And the subway system can take you north, south, east, and west, any direction, very quickly. So getting around is really easy if you don't have a scooter, and if you have a scooter, then that's very easy too. I think one of the toughest things is when you move to Taiwan, you're not used to the air quality. The air quality is kind of stuffy and polluted, and I think also it's difficult. You just miss home. The best thing for me about coming to Taiwan was that I got to meet uh, Wei's family and his mom's side of the family is in Seattle, but his father's side is all here, so all of the uncles and the aunts and their cousins and everyone are here, so I was able to visit them and get to know them a little bit better and still make some money and save some money and have an interesting experience. This is a good one. We have shrimp and some cashews, large intestine and some cabbage. It's actually good. Baked fish, kimchi, and then this is actually Jellyfish, right? Jellyfish on the side. Here's chicken and peanuts and some very spicy looking peppers. Last but not least, we have the crab eggs and, and tofu. Mm. Very good. Very good. He's a Taiwanese American and I'm from the southeastern Alabama. Um, but as different as we are, it seems to work. I guess our differences are what ties us together. But it's actually her idea to come here. Yeah, I'm really glad that uh, we got to, you know, experience Taiwan together because now she really understands a lot more of where I came from, uh, my background, uh, why I have certain ways of viewing things. It, because when you travel to a different country, you see a different perspective, and that's what's really great about it. If you were interested in coming to Taiwan, I would tell you um, to be prepared to work a lot. You're going to make a lot of money, but you have